Finally, we ended up at the supersonic wind tunnel laboratory. It was in this building during the period between 1944 and 1947 that the basic planning of our devastating guided missile was accomplished. I was interested in what sort of things might be going on here in 1954. Now will you tell us about this? To <clears throat> change the velocity in a supersonic wind tunnel, it is necessary to vary the shape upstream of the model being tested. Rather than replace this particular section each time we desire to change the velocity, we flex steel plates as indicated here to form the proper contour. For this particular setting, a definite velocity is obtained at this point where the model is installed. The plates are positioned by motor-driven jacks, which you can see here. These jacks are symmetrically placed so that the top and bottom plates always move the same distance. Now, where is the model? The model is located approximately the center of the wind tunnel. Uh, we have a 36-inch viewing window at this point. The test today is on a guided missile. The purpose of this test is to determine uh, proper shape and size of control surfaces for stability and directional control. Private Dustin, will you install this model in the test section now? I imagine you have to secure the model in the tunnel pretty, pretty well. Yes, you do, because the shock waves uh, vibrating off of the uh, top and bottom plates of the tunnel cause excessive vibration. How do you contact the compressors? The uh, crew chief in charge calls the compressor room by a loudspeaker system. You're just about ready to start the motors now. Yes, the crew chief is uh, uh, starting the uh, seal system, which uh, eliminates any moisture from, get, uh, from atmosphere getting into the tunnel. Compressor room. This is um, box number 2.17, single stage, blow down. And you may open 15 and 16 and put on 1, 2, 3, and 4, please. Okay. The compressors being used for this test are 3,000 horsepower each. Uh, we will be using four compressors. At what uh, okay. pressure are you going to build up? Thank you. We will build up to a slightly over atmospheric pressure on the supply side. Compressor room, the Mach number is 2.17, single stage, blow down start. You may open 15 and 16 and put on compressors 1, 2, 3, and 4, please. Okay. ratio is building up in the tunnel now. Uh, as you will see on the screen, the Mach number is about one. Shortly you will notice a sudden change. There it goes now from below the speed of sound to somewhat over two times the speed of sound or approximately 1,500 miles per hour. We're running at top pressure now. The uh, pressure is somewhat over atmospheric pressure. Uh, however, the uh, test section pressure is only about one third atmospheric. What do you conclude from this test? Well, it has been determined that the missile being tested is stable, but the control surfaces were not large enough to give the desired directional control. These surfaces will now be replaced by larger movable surfaces, and more tests will be conducted. More guided missile tests, he meant, but the next one we were to observe would be concerned with the flight characteristics of conventional projectiles. This building, they told us, is known as a transonic range.
During the three years it's been in operation, researchers have had opportunities to make multiple photographs of the flight of some 2,000 rounds of experimental ammunition. Findings brought to light have already resulted in development of two radically new types of projectiles. What will you be checking in this test? Why, we are checking the flight test performance of a fin missile at sonic velocity. Now, all missiles tend to oscillate as they fly through the air. However, uh, around sonic velocity, these oscillations have a tendency to build up very large. And this, of course, is unsatisfactory. Now, that is what we're really checking on this test. Now, you see the program engineer is taking the model in its plastic carrier up to the tank, and this test will begin in just a few minutes. In this test, the projectile will fly through this 1173-foot range, and its shadow will be photographed twice at each of the 25 camera stations to give us the necessary data. We're just about ready for this test. Jim, are you all ready? Here, as in all other areas the proving ground we had visited, rigidly enforced safety controls preceded the firing. This is the type of test that we run here every day in the year. The uh, photographs of the missile in flight in the range will be sent to the data reduction section. Uh, there the data will be reduced for the program engineer uh, in making his report. 